Hey Yuffie fans, a um, bit of a different video today. This one is a teardown of the Yuffie S330 um, 4K camera, solar powered camera. This one is a faulty device, um, fails to charge um, and as you can see um, if we try and sync the camera Uh, and that is charged, but we don't get anything coming through there. So um, it's been partially dismantled already, but I thought I'd go through the um, sort of dismantle from the start. If for any reason you feel like you need to dismantle one of these, obviously be aware that the warranty will be void. Um, I'm doing this because this camera is no longer working and there are maybe some parts in there that I can use for future, um, future cameras, uh, you know, future faults on other cameras rather. So firstly, um, the first thing I did was to remove this uh, bezel that goes around the lens. Um, that is the only way into the camera. So this is sits flush. What you do is get a, a thin screwdriver or something plastic if you don't want to damage the casing and prise this off. Once that's off, there are numerous screws. I think there's probably six that are around the edge there. So small screwdriver, undo those. Um, and we can then get into the uh, into the camera. So, tipping on its end, gently, and get the main body of the camera out. Now, be careful when you do this because there is a solar panel cable attached to the back there, um, which is here. So, if I unplug that, you can see down the end there that this small cable attaches to the inside where the solar panel is. So that's the outer casing removed. Um, we then have the main body, with the battery. Um, now I'm no expert on um, all of this. Don't really know what it does, but I can dismantle things like this usually. Um, so as mentioned, there is no power um, anywhere on this. So to get this um, more torn down, there are a few ribbon cables we have to unplug. So one here and one here get better grip on that one there we go and they're both disconnected um, now the front of the camera has a few screws placed around the edge we'll go ahead and take these out They are tiny, so so if you're doing this, do be careful because they are very easy to lose. Like that. The good thing with filming this as I'm doing this is if I want to reconstruct it, I can kind of go backwards. Not sure where that came from. Yeah, I can reconstruct it by following the video backwards, I guess. Because no doubt there will be screws left over if I re rebuild this. Another ribbon cable there that attaches the front, so this is one that attaches to the, the back, also attaches to the front there. So, with that unplugged, you can then try to remove the front. There we go. So, two separate parts there the front of the camera with the lens. And the circuit board and then the back which is the battery compartment there okay um, going back to the main body there this back section does remove as well Okay. 
sure the screwdriver that I'm using, the size of this thing, but it is. The scale is pretty small. But it does seem that all the components, or the screws rather, are, are the same size. So to get the circuit board off the back, I also need to remove the reset or sync button. Fiddly. Some of these screws are different sizes as well, so if I was to try and rebuild this, it would be trial and error as to which screw goes where. So simple press button there, which would be which presses on the reset button, which is quite a bit smaller, little micro switch there. And I believe I've undone all those as well. Seems to be another one there. There it is. Hmm. Well, it does seem to be maybe another one that I'm missing. Maybe not. Here it comes. Okay, so another small piece there. Um, with regards to the battery, I assume that can that would prize out somehow. And I don't want to pull it too hard because I know these things, if the damage can be exciting as in they can explode or catch fire. So I'm going to leave that in there, but that is basically just a plastic case now with a few cables and the battery on there. So there's nothing really much more to that part. Going back to the main part, the lens. Let's see what we can take on and take off on this one. There's quite a few screws holding this in. As I mentioned earlier, if I do have one of my S330 cameras um, develop a fault, other than this one, <coughs> I can potentially then go and swap these parts to try and identify the faulty part. Now they are constructed in such a way that everything comes out as separate pieces as you can see there. somewhere. Centre. Oh, cable. Ribbon cable there. And a small one there. So again, if you're going to deconstruct one of these, make sure you do take those cables out to avoid snapping. If you're pulling that out. It does seem pretty wedged in there. Seen any other screws to hold this in? Two, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's just wedged. So that's an interesting part there. That's that's got the lens, camera lens on there, the 4K camera, circuit board. Um, I guess the lens comes off as well. And there is a, a plug socket there. Don't really want to force that off. I can't see the screws. It may be that it clips on, but I don't want to try and force that off for now. So that's that's the lens. Um, and at the bottom of the camera here, we have the mic, uh, the uh, the speaker. So this will be the circuitry for the 
loudspeaker on the camera. All right, I see now why this was a little bit of an effort to get off there. It has a set of pins which plug into the socket there, so it would go back onto there. So to get that back on, I'd have to be very careful because those pins are very thin. And there is there we go, another ribbon cable which I must have yeah must have detached there from the front of the camera. So that is the no it's not the speaker, that's the I the um IR sensor I think. Is that on the front or is it the light? No, it's the IR sensor because it comes on across the bottom now that's where it sits. And there, so I mean these things such a small small device um, and the things they do are incredible um, I mean a 4k camera this size it's mind-blowing um, and the bottom there that is the microphone the, the speaker rather and I think that may slide out somehow I can't see how it's clicked in. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be any screws on this, I think that will just slide out. So again, I'm going to leave that in there just in case um, I damage it. But if I have a, a camera and the, the speaker goes, then you know, I will try and get that out and replace it. So we have all the parts there, plus the battery. Um, I wish I could get this. Oh, here we go. I think... Yeah, I think that would, that would come out with a, a bit of work, but as I say, I don't want to damage the, the battery casing in case we puncture it and get um, a firework display. Um, now, with this camera, I don't know if it is the battery with the fault, because the, the symptoms were um, the ring on the front. When you press the, the sync button, it did flash blue, which is right, but then it started to flicker red so it didn't flash red it sort of flickered on and off as if there's not enough power there and i believe a flashing red light is low battery so no matter how long it was left on charge for um, it didn't hold any charge so <clears throat> um, what i suppose i could do is, is dismantle another one of these cameras and try all the other parts in in the um the other camera's base and see if that works but because none of the others are faulty i don't really want to um <laughs> you know um chance breaking another one but this was beyond um well, not beyond repair but it just didn't work so um yeah any questions on on this or any of the the other videos on our channel please let me know um and if you like content like this so how to's or um unboxings of new or older cameras give me a like and a subscribe and then you'll be notified of any new videos uploaded Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and see you soon.